this video is about the two most common uh, household type chemicals for weed control, herbicides for weed control. These are two and a half gallon containers of the concentrate. So this stuff lasts me a long time going through my yard. Uh, honestly, if you got a small yard in town or something, these are probably going to go bad uh, before you'll use them up. But I do a little bit of property edge stuff as well as my yard with this and driveway. I've got a gravel driveway and I like keep the weeds out of it. The main thing you'll use around the house is Roundup. Uh, in this form, Roundup is glyphosate, 41%. Uh, in concentrated form, it's almost always 41%. I use three ounces of this per gallon through my backpack sprayer or hand sprayer. And so I'll, this is going to kill grass and broadleaf, uh, broadleaf plants in your yard. Will not kill woody plants. So I spray around the edges of my trees. I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm not big on, I'm not big on flowers and stuff. I just like there to be the grass to look relatively nice. This yard, this is a new house, so our yard doesn't look that great yet, but this is what I do around the trees here. This isn't a great circular pattern, but once a month or so, even during raining season, if I treat this with Roundup, there won't be anything grow up here. You can see something sprouting up there. But anyway, this won't, this doesn't damage the tree, but it does kill broadleaf plants and your grass so here my driveway needs sprayed you can see some plants coming up and I need to wet this whole driveway here and Roundup will take a while to kill it honestly it might be a week before you see it turn but it will kill it I don't like going to the trouble of spraying and risking not hitting the, the plants with enough chemical. I usually double this, but three ounces per gallon is the correct wear eight and usually is enough to kill it. There are uh, a handful of plants that are now immune to Roundup. And uh, so what I've been doing, if I get some of those in my driveway, I then add 2,4-D to it, mix them right together in the sprayer, works out perfectly fine. Uh, the application of this is the same, 3 ounces per gallon of this concentrate. This is 2,4-D, I don't know if I told you that, it says it right there though. The problem with 2,4-D is when you go to buy the product at the store, you'll see a lot of different salt forms of it but really works the same way and really is the same thing. So what you're going to want to do is open this up and make sure it actually shows the application rate on the one that you buy as being the same as mine, one pint per acre. This is geared towards farmers so they know how to apply it to their fields and they apply a pint per acre generally. And if you open yours up and find out you're supposed to put two pints per acre on the one that you've bought at the store, well, you're going to have to, you know, do your cross multiplication and stuff. But if it's two pints per acre, you're going to be making six ounces per gallon. Now, I mix these up together to spray my driveway when I've got some immune plants in it from the Roundup. I'll put them both in there, and this will whoop everything. Alternatively... If you just want to treat your yard for broadleaf plants and allow the grass to live, obviously don't put Roundup in your sprayer, but you can just put 2,4-D in your sprayer by itself at three ounces per gallon and try not to make double passes through the yard, but uh, when you use it at that concentration, it should not kill your grass if you've done all your math correctly. This should not kill your grass at three ounces per gallon. I treat it a couple times a year uh, to kill dandelions and stuff like that in the spring. Now, if you make five passes, let's say, over the same piece of ground, 
It'll probably kill your grass at that rate. In fact, you can even use 2,4-D to kill woody plants, but when you do that, you basically run this full strength without thinning it out. Maybe put it in uh, like a Windex bottle type sprayer and spray, you know, if you got a tree growing up around your shed and you want it dead before you cut it, you spray this on full strength on the green parts of the plant, like the leafy parts of the plant, and this will kill it. Very few things are immune to 2,4-D, and the reason that is is 2,4-D actually causes the plant to, the cells to multiply too quickly and grow too quickly and burst. And so it's not, it wouldn't be natural for a plant to modify itself the way that it grows to grow more slowly to protect it from 2,4-D. So even though 2,4-D has been on the market like 50 years or something like that and Roundup's relatively new, fewer things are immune to this 2,4-D. So sum it up, 2,4-D by itself in your yard. It's okay on the grass at these lower concentrations like this. If you're spraying the driveway, generally you just use your, you're killing everything. You're killing grass and broadleaf. Use Roundup. Uh, and if you got some plants in your driveway that are immune to the Roundup, go ahead and mix them both together and spray that on the driveway. Remember, this kills the grass. This, at these concentrations, doesn't. Thanks. Hope this helped you. If you got anything out of this, uh, please subscribe. I need subscribers. Got plenty of viewer hours for monetization, but I don't have enough subscribers. I appreciate it.